Okay, so here we go. Um, my first video in um, in this new YouTube channel. Um, first, my husband told me to turn the heater off because he could hear the sound in the background on the first video. So this should be a little better. Anyway, so I wanted to um, I want to make this video sort of short. All my paintings, so the majority of my paintings are super symbolic and I could go on and on and on and talk about them for hours on end. And uh, of course, we're not gonna do that. I wanna keep these videos kind of short and then if you need or want more information, then you could always um, you know, send me a message, call me, whatever. I love to talk about them. Um, I chose this one because I think it's a good representation of what, um, of what my paintings are some of the symbols in here i repeat over and over again in other paintings and so that way i can kind of give you a glimpse as to um, what these elements are and then you'll see them in other paintings if you're interested obviously so um this painting is called the key to my mysteries and um i was kind of torn when i was naming it because i also wanted i thought about naming it um, the transformation because there's a lot of symbology in here that kind of represents that but you know that's something that we artists we struggle to when naming a painting anyway it's called the key to my mysteries um, and uh, okay so the most obvious thing to me I think when you come look at it is the crows people and they tell me all the this all the time you know it's the first thing they see and they sort of get an icky feeling oh this is a little strange and so that's the main reason really why i chose this painting is because no 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 crows are beautiful animals and i want to make this very clear i think the the reason why most people just associate something dark or bad with crows is because all the scary movies you know they have them in there and they're usually something bad happens when you do see them but that couldn't be further from the truth crows are very intelligent animals um they're very loyal um i think i read somewhere one time that they actually can recognize facial features so they'll recognize someone but anyway aside from that uh crows are a good a good omen they represent uh transformation creativity mystery to a certain you know extent um it is said that if you see um three crows or more that is an extremely good omen and that um it signifies again transformation but that something good is going to happen um so i love to paint crows i just i think that it's it's kind of like the basis of of what i always try to come across it's to be it's just this essence of trans transforming yourself into a better individual so anyway, you have the crows, and on this painting I have 11 of them. Um, I always have odd numbers because I think that's very significant and we can go on ooh, forever on that. Uh, something that's then very obvious is this, um, this image here. And I call him, her, it's really an androgynous image or person. Um, I call him the ascender. And to me, when I first started painting him, I wanted to paint something that would signify wisdom. Um, and I came across this, and in this painting and in most of my paintings, yes, he sort of brings wisdom and the ability to transform and to help you ascend into whatever you want to become. And so that's him, and he, of course, is in the center of the heart, and he has a heart in the center, which to me then brings forth, um, it represents emotion and feeling and um, humanity, okay? And then you have um, 
doves, three doves surrounding the uh, the ascender, which of course we know doves mean um, peace, love, um, and and so that's all good. Then we have the Orthodox cross, which in this instance is not really the Orthodox cross because it's missing a bar, but I wanted to keep the cross kind of chunky and having another bar was, anyway, it was gonna change um, the way it would look. So I kept it like that because really what I was concentrating on is on the diagonal a bar on the orthodox cross which is the footstool of jesus uh, when he was on the cross and it signifies or represents the scales of justice so good and evil which is kind of what i wanted to go with there um the rest of the elements well i i do have these two vintage keys and um a keyhole so like the name represents and that's kind of why i went with the key to my mistress it's sort of the key to the mysteries of whatever you want it to be you know who you want to be who you want to become um or just the secret of your heart of who you are the secret of your mind um and the rest of the things as in my paintings i like to incorporate found objects little rusty things that i just think it just brings uh, a 3d element to the painting and you kind of want to touch them and sometimes they do represent something in this particular case it's just to uh, bring some rawness to it you know i didn't want it to be all one element you know i wanted to I always want that thing that just kind of comes out and grabs you. Um, and then we have the wings, and these are angel wings. So um, I can go on with that for a long time. One thing I want to mention, on the doves, you know, we associate doves with Christianity, but actually doves are found in other, religi other religions as well, Judaism, Islam, and paganism and um, something that I do in a lot of my paintings is incorporating is the inclusion of all religions because to me um, and I really don't want to go there but you know religion tends to separate people and and it's it it's so wrong I think in actuality you know we all um, pray to the same God and anyway I don't want this to be about that so but it's the inclusion of all religions which is a good thing which is what it should be and in this painting it's really about transforming yourself into a better individual someone that is wiser someone that has love in their heart and that is willing to uh, differentiate from good and bad and to become a better and more loving and understanding human being and that's pretty much it i'm going to include some photos of the painting at the end of this video and a little more information as to where it is on my website and and again if you have any questions or comments or whatever you could always message me or send me an email see you on the next one